Hey guys, Alpha Troop here. Alpha is your, your boy speaking right now, your host. So I started this uh, Let's Play channel with Danga Ropa V3. And I gave y'all a really long video just to like, you know, really get into the game. But from now on, you know, I'm gonna try to like keep it to like no more than like 30 minutes, maybe 40, to kind of keep the the pacing of this Let's Play, you know, going and at a smooth and enjoyable rate. But the first one almost hit two hours, just because you know it's like a premiere. You know, like how like um, season uh, new show starts and it's like don't don't, don't miss the two hour premiere or like you know. So that's why I wanted to get like, put up a really long one, dive straight into it get it you know into me you know because this is my first let's play video you know on the new channel so yeah without further ado oh wait, wait I should also mention that you know I want to you know include you guys as much as possible and get you guys to give me feedback you know like video quality sound quality you know as much as possible you guys have any suggestions It'll be much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, why I was doing Let's Plays? Um, just a brief touch about that. You know, growing up, you know, I watched my big brother, you know, play video games, and I realized now as an adult, I was pretty much watching Let's Plays since I was like 11. So I thought, let's share, you know, other people who are on YouTube. Let's share this and make Let's Plays for them. So. That's just a breach reason why I'm doing this. So let's start. If you remember, we stopped at the dining hall and we're picking up from here. Let's go. Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. Interesting. I would say more like a college. College is school if you want to be technical, but dining halls are usually in colleges, at least in my opinion. Or at least in America. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Good point. That is a contradiction. Juveniles, you would think there'd be no dining hall, more like a lunchroom cafeteria kind of thing. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Alright, alright. Um Let's look at the rules. Let's look at the rules. This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat all food you find in the dining hall. Sweet. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and clean up after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during nighttime. Makes sense. Nighttime? So it's closed at night? Just the monitor, the wind, oh, the door, okay, I don't want to leave yet, okay, we can't touch the dining table or chairs, alright, 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 let's talk to her, I'll let her handle that one, I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy, much anime. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? You know? Sure, now I, I can agree with that. But at the same time, you'll get a burnout from yelling too much. So like sore throat. Ah, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times. Just in case someone tries to attack me, I will protect myself with Neo Akito. <laughs> Akito? Then you're. Uh, oh, yes! <laughs> you know, I play fighting games a lot. And if she was a fighting game character, I'd, I'd play her. Yeah, I'll definitely um use her. Oh, I always imagined a Keto Master to be huge burly guys. But you're so cute! Cute? Ah, uh, st 
stop it. Uh, I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down on the shake. And when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Mm, I see, but I think you're cute. Right, Suichi? Uh huh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that face. What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. Intense is one way to put it. I don't like being praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right. There is a way bigger problem than you just being uncomfortable around men. Uh, by the way, what is Neo Aikido you mentioned? Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So, your Aikido is all self-taught. Hi, Tenko. Uh, friend or foe? I mean, in my mind... You see, she'll, she's a foe just because if you're a guy, you don't trust her, right? Like, or around guys, you don't trust her. Let me put that, put it that way. So, yeah, I don't trust her because she might end up killing or hurting a guy because of her unnatural uncomfort around them. It's, I mean, yeah, you, you, I just, yeah. We can be cool, sort of, but... I just don't trust you in terms of a friend right now. <laughs> Maybe if I get to know you, but right as of right now, I'll put you as a foe because you're gonna hurt guys from where you are. You just threaten to throw Suichi across the room. Alright, let's talk to the, the magic girl. Yeah, so we're stuck here. That's what it looks like. Oh. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. Yeah. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. So much Shikamaru vibes right now. Something like this won't make me panic. Because I'm a mage. A mage? Hmm. Hmm. That's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Okay. The mage. Do I trust her? Interesting. I, I need to get to know her more a little bit right now. Okay. Okay. Ultimate magician. Okay. Oh, so you're a magician. Should have said that from the start. I mean, it makes sense though. Since magic doesn't exist. Yeah, Kaede, way to piss off or piss her off. Go ahead. Just you know, tell her, her dreams aren't real too while you're at it. Or, or, or tell her that, you know, her whole life is a failure and is meaningless. Uh. Yeah. Magic does exist. <gasps> huh? Because I'm a maid. You're just a magician, right? Look, man, if she wants to be a mage, just let her, alright? Let her be from Hogwarts, you know, let her do her thing. Sometimes you just can't, you know, be so confrontational, right? Eh? Yeah. Only on paper. Noika. I'm a known I'm known as a magician. But that's just a ruse. I am actually a mage. 
just a ruse. You guys might know, not you guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle, also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers gather. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. All a ruse, ruse. You know, like she. Okay, so I'm. Of course, you're gonna be suspicious of her because you know, like she's a magician. She can make a trick happen, and it's all an illusion. But it. it I want to say she's the type of person that really just wants to be respected more than and more than feared. You know what I mean? So I want to call her a friend, like. Getting to know her, you know, would be kind of cool, you know, like, and I kind of like Kaida, how she's passionate about a piano, being playing the piano. If I just call her a musician, no, I'm a pianist, maybe she'll get like that. Same thing, like, you know, if she wants to be known as a mage, call her a mage. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Now, granted, she is being dishonest, you know. But again, I don't sense crazy bad vibes like she'll kill out and kill someone like Ren Rentaro would. Maybe Suichi. I'm keeping my eye on you, Suichi. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. There, there. Don't be sad. Anasa. Well, you can show us your magic. Then we will believe you. Soda. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... Yeah. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. I see. Then what can you do? I can choose the card you pick, pull out coins, and release doves. Magician. You're a magician. Okay, okay. Again, she's a mage, at least in her heart. But we can, we can, you know, let her live the fantasy a little. I feel bad. Yeah. If I get serious. I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Okay. So, I don't trust Senko around men. So, therefore... She's a foe for that reason. That little phobia of hers, I guess you can call it. I kind of trust her, you know, she just wants to be a mage, you know, be be a mage. I think her and the cosplayer could get along very well, because, you know, mage, cosplay, kind of has a relation there. And again, like, it goes to the boils down to the point, like, you know, Kaide, ultimate m musician. But no, she wants to, you to be official and, you know, tell her, call her out um, based on what she plays, the piano. Same thing, you know, like, in magic, you know, there's a magician, but imagine there's an illusionist. You know? So there's just you know, little details like that. She wants to be known as by her official title. Whether she is or not, it's up to debate. This door is blocked by barbed wire. The same goes for the classroom windows. Don't tell me all the exits are blocked. Yeah, they are. They are. They're always blocked. Alright, take care guys. Take care. So Tenko, I'll put her down as a foe. Someone who might commit a murder on a guy if provoked. And then I would uh say Himiko, the magician. Nah, she's cool. In denial, but cool. 
Alright, see you. Hey, Rentaro. Hey, Rentaro. See you, bye. What's this weird room that is suspicious? It's locked. Suspicious room locked. It's locked. I guess this isn't open. Let's look somewhere else. So lucky. Okay. Hmm. Running, running. Can't interact with this? Okay, okay. Let's go to the gym? Yeah, alright. Yes. Is this the gym? Locked gym. Okay. Are it? Huh? It won't open. Seems like we can't go to, into the gym. Hmm. What's the matter, Suichi? Uh, it's, it's nothing. It just feels strange. Strange? How so? Like, mm. deja vu? I feel like I've been here before. We might be caught up in something even stranger than we imagined. Mm. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Mm. But we'll probably be fine. Yeah. What makes you say that? Doctor. Because we have 16 ultimate students on our side. On our side would be nice. But, you know, they may not always be friendly. As long as we work together as friends, I just know nothing bad will happen. That's a sure sign that bad things are coming. Friends? Yeah, you see, even Suichi is kind of like, is it realistic to think we're all going to get along and be friends? I mean, sure, you will want that, but, you know, you just meet them. You just meet these 16 Ultimates. They have their own, you know, baggage and history. I'm a little lost for a minute, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Look at that, Mentaro's right there. Dining hall. Warehouse. Mentaro. Level up. End of hallway. Okay. Just getting my berries. So, can we go down? Nope, oh, can't go down. So These are still locked, the, the center foyer. Interesting. Okay, let's go back up the stairs. Maybe... No, you know what? No, up the stairs, up the stairs. Hmm. Classroom C, was it, right? Was anyone in classroom C? Or was it locked? Is it locked now? Oh look, another classroom. Classroom A. I just want to like, make sure, you know. A lot of things are nice. You might just run over it. 
Okay, so let's go into classroom A. Wow, two people, okay, two again. Oy! Hey, wait for me! Please stop! Don't come any closer! That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. Astute observation. What's happening here? Alright, let's talk to uh, this guy. <laughs> come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. What? A robot? What is it? Are you another robophobe? I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? Are you one of the model cops? Don't compare me to those toys! I'm not just any old robot! Alright, Kibo. Or K1BO. Or B0. I, I don't know if that's an O or a 0. But I'll call him Kibo. Ultimate robot? Oh! That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Oh, um, go ahead. Ultimate Supreme Leader. Okay. A robot and a Supreme Leader? Neither of them makes any sense. Well, I mean, okay, let's think about it like this. Supreme Leader, obviously by that, you know, choice of words, is someone who's a dictator. I mean, you, any way you slice it. And it's interesting because, okay, he's, his appearance definitely doesn't look like he's a leader. And the robot, okay, fine, it's done on robot. Any, anything is really possible. And a robot doesn't really surprise me. By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're not funny. Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Don't mock me! I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it? I don't know. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Uh -huh. You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing with the human brain. That's why, at the time of creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. The professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things, until finally he enrolled me in high school. And now, I stand here before you all. See? I am just like everyone else. Hey, do robots have dicks? Please, do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only asked because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Hey, hey, robots. Will we find out if robots have dicks? Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader channel. Okay, so Kokichi definitely seems like a foe. 
and he might just do something to prove he's evil as he thinks he is. The ultimate robot, not mm, he could be a good guy, you know. I, I think he's a friend. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm go with that, you know. Like I think the robot is just someone who's misunderstood, looking for acceptance, you know. His heart may be made out of metal, but he's really more human than everyone else. That kind of vibe. And then, you know, for Kokichi, yeah, you know, I definitely feel like we're going to be questioning him about his evilness. Anyway, back to the dialogue. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. <laughs> what? It Gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Uh -huh. Sign-ups today. Seriously, the supreme leader of an evil secret organization? <laughs> Who knows? I'm a liar after all. So I'm just gonna, you know, address this. He just called himself a liar. <laughs> hmm. So you were lying just now? <laughs> Well, I'm the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Me, a liar. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Uh, by the way, what is the name of that organization? It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But I've never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Money. Of course you have it, because it's a secret organization. Me, the liar, is saying it's a secret organization. No. Hey, everything he said so far sounded like a lie. So that's gotta be a lie too, right? No, Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, of course you're not a suspicious person because robots aren't people, silly. Oh, you mad? You mad, bro? You gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I don't have that function. Time to get an upgrade. Rocket punches, man. Be sentinel. Oh man, That's boring. What a weird boy. He likes a mis- He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around. Unless he's really a evil supreme leader. Okay, we we got his their fragments. Okay. Let's leave. Down the stairs we go. Of course I want to head down. Full of mysteries. Yes it is. Yes it is. Proceed with caution. Agreed, agreed. With him at the front. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Yeah, because you haven't turned the corner yet into the darkness. Oh, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. Thank you, Suichi. Still don't trust you very much, but okay. Suichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? Yep. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Yeah. There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You're right. I just went back. Silly me. Silly me.
Alright, let's go this way. And there we go. First door we see. The game room. I would be up in this place. Okay. We... Are it? it looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Yeah, in college. I mean, in college we had the, the game room club. Mom. It certainly is strange. I mean, what games they got? Though? They, you, got you gotta, gotta, you gotta give us some good games. I mean, where's the VR stuff and the and the, the blasting games? You know, and the cleverly uh, breaking the fourth wall Danga Ropa game. Ah oh, well. Let's talk to this guy. Nananda. Jeez. What a strange place. You know, we sports tennis guy. Nice to meet you. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? Isn't that what you guys are walking around for? Figure it out yourself. Mm. Oh, okay. Dunga. We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to the prison, anyway. See, again, I, I think. Okay, you look at him, his face seems kind of like innocent, but then you hear him say compared to prison, so he's been to prison. But I think he's a cool guy, just someone who's a vigilante, maybe? Like someone who's just committing crimes, but for good, I don't know. Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? <sighs> hmm, that's an old story. So edgy. Edgy. Yep. Complex man right here. I'm nothing more than his empty ship. Okay, okay. I mean, I definitely see him as a friend, though. Like someone that is wiser than most people here, and he's gonna be the kind of guy that will bring us to reality. You know, like the world isn't all sunshine and rainbows, kid. That kind of kind of guy. I've been to prison. Yeah. Ryoma Hoshi, really? I've seen you in the newspaper. Tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. <gasps> you took down a mafia by yourself? Kashiko. The papers said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. What the hell, really? Hmm. Hmm. So you know that much already. Pretty cool. Now I had to kill you. Nah, nah. Just kidding. That's a joke. Well, what do you think? loser before you, who used this talent to kill. But, but, but why would you throw away your future like that? And since he just admitted to us that he's killed before, it's gonna be easy if the first murder happens and we point to him like, you did it, you killed before. So that's also another reason why I think of him as like a friend because like, unless he has in murderous intentions with someone he may know here, I don't think he would just go out and kill just for the sake of killing, you know, like, the, the motive here, he took down the Mafia, you know, maybe we might have a Moth secret organization leader here, oh snap, okay, interesting, so maybe he doesn't like uh, Kokuchi, but why would you throw away your future like that, hmm, because I didn't need a future anymore, huh, yeah, no, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to walk up to a killer like me. You don't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. Yeah, again, like, you can say, oh, this guy killed before, I don't trust him. But he definitely seems like the kind of guy that can give you a lot of experience just 
don't be clingy onto him. You know, just just hang out with him and just kind of like take what he says with respect. And he does command respect despite his face. Sliding door. And it is locked. It looks like it's locked. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. So, okay, guys, this will end this episode. We met some new friends, maybe some new enemies. Um, I will like to leave, but we'll leave this room in the next episode. Um, thanks for watching. Till next time.